everyone. Uh, this is a new recipe today, so I haven't done this one before, mostly because I didn't have this ingredient. And what we have here today is some fresh black truffle. I've got about half of one here. Um, this is courtesy of my very good Thai friend, um, Kun Sa Tam, so uh, this recipe is for him. And I've already used my mandolin um, to slice up some of the truffle into some thicker slices. Um, so this is going to go into the dish that we're going to do, which is truffled scrambled eggs. It's going to be quite a fast recipe, so I think I, we can do it all in one go. Um, one thing that you probably noticed is that I've got the truffle in some rice. I had run out of regular white rice, so I'm using red um, organic whole grain rice. Um, mostly to keep the truffle um, dry, you don't want it to get moldy. You can also put it in a paper towel and change the paper towel every few days. But really, the, a fresh truffle is not going to last for longer than a couple of weeks. Um, the other thing we have on the go right now is we've got some butter melting, about two tablespoons um, at a low heat. And what I'll do right now is take two of the thicker slices of truffle and just mince it up and put that right into the butter so that we can flavor the butter with truffle. This is such a treat to get. Um, you don't really get access to fresh truffle very often unless we're going to a restaurant. So to be able to do it at home is really nice. So thank you again to Kunsa Tam for sharing because he was the one that got his hands on the fresh truffle. All right. so. We're mixing that truffle up into the butter to infuse the butter with the flavor. And very quickly, we're going to beat in, this is grass-fed milk, organic milk, uh, about a tablespoon of milk, two tablespoons, I should say, of milk into four eggs. And these are organic eggs that I get from Paleo Robbie, pasture fed. Now you'll notice that I'm not adding salt and pepper at this point. Um, if you add salt and pepper into your eggs, and especially too early, you'll get watery eggs. So now, pouring that egg in with the truffle butter. I mean, those two words um, separately are beautiful, but you put them together and it's just heaven. And what you want to do, this is on lo the lowest heat I have for this burner. It's one of our biggest burners, though. So you want to just mix and get the eggs thick. And then what I tend to want to do with scrambled eggs is take it off the heat and let the heat of the pan also do some of the work. You don't want it to be too overdone. And I'll put it back on the heat just for a few seconds longer. Getting off the heat and then again letting the pan do the work to finish the eggs. And this way you get fluffy but nicely set scrambled eggs. So we're going to put these scrambled eggs in the bowl. And at this point, this is when you season with salt and pepper. So here we go. Just going to do a sprinkle of fleur de sel, which is sea salt that is non-iodized. pepper. Not too much because um, we want that truffle flavor to come through. And the last bit will be adding some thinly shaped truffle um, to to our eggs. There we go. And that is truffle scrambled eggs. And I'm going to go in for the taste just to make sure there's enough salt and pepper. I think there's enough truffle for sure. Mm, yum. This is 
definitely a very decadent Saturday morning dish, um, but absolutely worth it. And thank you again to Kunisa Town for providing that beautiful black truffle. Um, we're going to stop the video now so that Dave can have a taste too. Thanks for joining me.